Hello, everyone. We're very excited to talk about ISO 9001 certification. I'm Dave Friday, president of Apex Water Jetting Global, and I'm here with my friend, colleague, and co-host, Sherwood David Graham. Thank you, Sherwood, for being here. Thank you, Dave. It's good to be here. And I'm, a, I'm excited for you to hear from Sherwood a little bit of insight uh, into uh, your experience, your knowledge about ISO certification. And uh, But before we do that real quick, you're the executive vice president here at Apex. Right. Um, help our customers to understand uh, what that means and what your focus is day to day. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Uh, in my capacity here at Apex, uh, I basically direct and oversee the operational side of the business. That's the design and build of all of our products, but really from uh, concept to completion. Uh, I'm relatively new with the organization. Perhaps uh, a good number of our folks may be unfamiliar with who I am, uh, but they should know that you and I go back quite a ways. Yes. Uh, we've known each other well over a decade. Uh, we've traveled some miles together and seen some things, done a few things and, and had some fun. So uh, when we started talking about the possibility of working together at, at Apex, uh, your focus to me and what I thought I could bring to the table was my insight and expertise uh, as it relates to operational excellence. And uh, that's really where the attention and the focus has been. I've been pleased to be able to do that. We've actually started to see some very nice things happen as a result of doing that. And man, uh, even with the good things that have happened, there's a lot of good yet to come. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, very excited about it. So. Since our transition in uh, January of 2019, um, our processes have been a major focus. Right. And so let's talk about what ISO means. Our, our partners, our customers, they may have some level of awareness of ISO certification, right. um, but let's dig into it. You know, what, is it, what does it mean? What does it say about our commitment right. uh, to our customers? Uh, so let, let's start there. What is ISO 9001? Yeah, ISO 9001 is the global standard for quality management systems, or QMS. We refer to them, uh, uh, to the acronym QMS. Uh, ISO 9001 was developed by ISO, the International Standards Organization, and it's used and it's recognized in, I believe, around 180 countries now around the world. Uh, so when folks talk about ISO 9001, they're referring to that standard, to that international standard that outlines a set of management guidelines to help companies ensure that they're delivering quality products and quality services to their customers on a consistent basis. So we're, we're hearing some new maybe terminology, QMS. Um, we hear it a lot around here, but right. what, what is QMS? Yeah, QMS is an abbreviation for a quality management system. Now, I could give you the technical definition, and you know I'm fond of doing that, right? Uh, QMS, is a, it's a formalized system that documents the processes, the procedures, the activities, the responsibilities that are necessary in order for a company to fulfill its quality policy and its quality objectives. Uh, but to break it down a little bit, put it in simpler terms, a QMS is the system that manages the quality of the organization. And that's distinct and different from just the, the quality of the product itself. So a QMS really governs every aspect of an organization in as much as it touches the quality of the product or the service. So that means everyone from the boardroom to the broom closet, uh, everyone is a part of the quality management system. Uh, for example, owners and executives, they control uh, the availability of resources, which affects quality. Uh, human resources, HR, they're responsible for providing well-trained, highly qualified, highly skilled, highly motivated employees. That certainly affects quality. Uh, the sanitation and cleanliness of the environment of the workplace, uh, that impacts how products are produced. So that means even the janitor is uh, has some impact and effect on quality. So the QMS is just the, the comprehensive system that guides and governs everything in the organization that relates to quality. Now to break it down even one level further still, uh, at its most basic level, uh, 
quality or a QMS uh, has four components, uh, documentation, implementation, uh, records, and continual improvement. Uh, we, as, as we say around here, uh, say what you do, do what you say, prove that you did it, and next time, do it better. So if you have a system that does those four things, congratulations, you have a QMS. Excellent. So very helpful. Uh, let's talk about the relevance of a QMS. Why does a QMS really matter? Yeah, and at the end of the day, that's, uh, that's a million dollar question, right? Uh, John Ruskin, a famous art critic a century ago, really helped shape our understanding, our contemporary understanding of art. In his book, The Stones of Venice, uh, he said something very insightful. He said, quality is never an accident. Quality is never an accident. It's always the result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, and skillful execution. Of course, he was referring to art, particularly painting, but his observation was true about quality in any area of life, especially as it relates to business. When a business consistently delivers something of high quality, especially when they do it over time, you can mark it down that that didn't happen by accident. Right. Uh, it's the result of those four things, uh, high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, skillful execution. I mean, we, we both know folks who are really good at something, right? They're excellent at something. They've mastered something. It can be uh, art. It can be athletics, uh, gardening, uh, even cooking. We know folks who have achieved mastery at something. And you know whenever they've, they've done that, and especially when they've been able to sustain that over time, that it's something they've really focused on. It's something they're really passionate about. And that's the way it is with quality. It's a commitment, and it really has to be the driving focus of the entire organization from the top to the bottom. When I was a young engineer, uh, a senior buyer at General Motors said something to me that I've never forgotten. He says, everybody says they deliver quality. He said, I've never had anybody sit in the same chair where you're sitting and tell me, uh, you know, my prices are low, my lead times are fast, but Frankly, my quality stinks. You know, there's no guarantees on what you're going to get when you open the box. Everybody says they deliver quality. And frankly, he said, everybody does deliver quality sometimes. Okay. But what I want to know is, what are you and your company doing to make sure that I get exactly what I pay for every time I open the box? And more than that, what are you doing to make sure that I get that box when I need it and not when you guys decide you're going to send it to me? So that was 30 years ago. I've never forgotten that. Everybody says they deliver quality products and services, and everybody does deliver quality sometimes. But what are you doing and what are we doing to make sure that we reliably and repeatedly meet and exceed our customer standards? That's why a QMS matters, because it's the only way that you can effectively answer that question, that million-dollar question. Excellent. Well, that, that helps us understand the importance of a quality management system and why, as a company, we need to be focused on it. Let's talk about why Apex decided to ultimately choose ISO 9001 certification instead of some alternative QMS. Right. No, it's a good question. Um, if everybody says they deliver quality, that means everybody has a QMS, right? right? They have some kind of system that they're expecting is going to help them to deliver quality products and services. Now, everybody's QMS is different. Some are formal, some are informal, uh, some are complaint driven, you know, and they're managed with sticky notes and memo pads. We've seen those, right? Uh, some QMSs are very proactive. They're structured, they're process driven. But the bottom line is everybody has some kind of system. The question is, what kind of system am I, am I going to have? And at what level am I going to commit to that system? Anytime a, a company makes a commitment to operational excellence, especially a manufacturing company, you'll hear them talk about terms like lean, Six Sigma, uh, total quality management, all of these great methodologies, methodologies for process improvement. All of them have value in a certain context. At Apex, what we decided to do was to specifically implement ISO 9001 and pursue that certification. And we did it for a couple of reasons. Uh, first is, 
frankly, we just didn't want to start from scratch, right? We, uh, we, we didn't want to implement a new system and then have to absorb all, all of the uh, developmental mistakes. So the ISO system, it's a great set of detailed requirements that have been proven to work right out of the box. Uh, a second reason we decided to pursue ISO certification is we didn't just want to focus on the quality of the products. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, we really wanted to have a focus on an integrated system that weaves all of the QMS requirements into the business processes throughout the company. And that's precisely what ISO 9001 does. And that was really appealing to us. And, you know, our name is Apex Water Jetting Global. Right. And the ISO 9001 certification is, it's really the gold standard right around the world for a QMS. And absolutely. And it means something. It's significant right. to achieve that certification. And it gave our team, of course, something to aspire to uh, where the payoff was really significant and, and it would catapult us into a lead company. Uh, uh, Dave, you know the team we've got here better than I do. I mean, these guys are proven winners. They've flat out gotten it done everywhere they've been and they don't back down from a challenge that's one of the reasons it's so exhilarating to work with this group of guys we're all very competitive we're all driven to be the absolute best so this is the, this was the kind of challenge that uh, it really appealed to our entire team especially with the payoff that it provided and given where we were in the life cycle of the organization it, it just proved out to be the best decision for us so it's really started to pay pay off for us and we've all recognized uh, the achievement and the results so far. Absolutely. So really from the beginning of our, our transition in January, January 2019, we, when we introduced the campaign, we're, we're building the engine. The processes was a big part of that. Right. And, and our focus, of course, is to grow, right? Everyone wants to <laughs> right. grow their business. Our focus is from the beginning has been to grow processes, to have a process approach uh, to running the business. Right. So what are some of the requirements uh, that we had to meet to achieve the ISO certification? Oh, Dave, you're tempting me to get very wonky here, but uh, uh, just to keep this at a, at a high level, uh, there, are, there are 10 sections in the ISO 9001 standard. The first three are introductory. The next seven contain the sections, the, the actual QMS requirements against which a company is certified. And they range from leadership and planning to the operations of the business, the actual operations, which include the performance evaluation section, the continual improvement section. Uh, all seven of these sections are unique, but what they all have in common is this. They all pursue uh, a four-step continual improvement cycle. That's what they're based on. Uh, we refer to it around here, the acronym PDCA, Plan, Do, Check, Act. And so these are the elements that drive change within the processes of the organization. So first, you identify the problem. Secondly, then you implement your solution set. Third, you analyze the results. And then finally, you either adjust and improve or you continue to deploy the best solution, except you do it with a higher degree of excellence. So that's plan, do, check, and act. Well, that sounds very simple. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's simple, but we've all heard the phrase, right? Uh, there's a difference between something being simple and something being easy. That's I mean, right. conceptually, yeah, it, it, it doesn't take a rocket surgeon to <laughs> figure this thing out, right? But, but what makes it so challenging is quality is the ultimate team sport. Uh, you just can't outsource quality to a single person or to a single department and then hope that it's going to get the job done. Uh, quality cannot be inspected into a product at the very end. Quality has to be designed and built in, and that's the result of this iteration uh, of, of the process reproach. And that requires buy-in from the top all the way to the bottom, from the boardroom to the broom closet. And it demands that every person and every product uh, in every department is able to say exactly what they do, they do what they say, they prove that they did it, and then next time they do it better. So before any person, any department, uh, uh, ever does their portion of producing that part, 
they have to have sat down and worked their way through what are the reasons, the risks, the resources, the responsibilities, and the relationships that are going to be affected by what I do, by my engagement in this process. That means these process-related uh, uh, functions can't be based on hunches, it can't be based on gut feelings. It can't be based on, well, this is how we always did it before or what somebody else told me to do. It has to be based on documented evidence. Excellent. Very helpful. So since you've been a part of the team and you obviously have a lot of experience right. and an insight to ISO, um, what would you say has been the greatest benefit to Apex water jetting uh, since you've personally been here? Yeah, man, there's been so many, Dave, but uh, if I had to nail it down to one, uh, it would just be the improvement in the operational efficiency. Uh, we've really been focused, been driven uh, to streamline our processes, to nail down our processes. And, and as we've been doing that, we've been measuring and monitoring trends across the board. We've been able to lower production costs. We've been able to reduce response times. And the reason for that is because there are fewer non-conforming products. There's less rework. There's lower rejection rates. There's fewer mistakes. And so all of that has really added up to greater improvements in operational efficiency. Uh, we all know that uh, when we decided to embark on this journey back in 2019, our QMS registrar was a little bit skeptical. I mean, what's a company of your size a company in your industry, you know, trying to do here. I mean, isn't this a bit of a big bite for you to, uh, to take on? But we took it on and we actually did uh, achieve the certification our first, uh, our first time through. But when he was back for the surveillance audit just a couple of months ago, uh, I actually got a chuckle by, uh, uh, by seeing this guy's response. Uh, you know, and, and, and he's an older gentleman. He's seen a lot. He's done a lot. He's been involved with a lot of companies. And honestly, I think he expected some backsliding because how many times have companies like ours taken on a project like this? There's a lot of energy and enthusiasm when you get started and then you relapse, you, you drop back into the status quo. Uh, but he was, he was clearly surprised as he proceeded through the audit and his exact words were, he said, this is not the same company that I saw a year ago. It's not the same company I saw a year ago. The intention, the intention, uh, the execution, the effort that our team had put in was so noticeable that we not only eliminated all the minor nonconformances, we actually received a written commendation for the excellence of our system. So that's very nice to hear. It's nice to hear from an auditor. Uh, but, you know, between you and I, what's been even more gratifying is we've been hearing the same thing from our customers. As you know, they're telling us this is not the same company we dealt business with a year ago. Right. They've really been able to see the improvements. And of course, we've always enjoyed a good reputation of having a clever and creative design staff. We've been able to deliver, uh, to deliver quality, yeah. not just sometimes, but frankly, most of the time. Uh, and just great uh, OEM compatible parts. Uh, we've enjoyed a nice reputation. But this past year, we've really had a focus on nailing down uh, how to deliver our brand promise to our customers and to do it repeatedly and reliably. And our customers at this point have really come to expect, not only are they always going to get a fair deal, right? Not only are they always going to get expert technical service and support, but because of our commitment to the process approach of quality management, they have a high level of confidence that whenever they receive a box and on that box, it says Apex Water Jetting Global, they can open it up and they know what they're going to get. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your insight uh, into the ISO certification and what it means. Most importantly, and the reason why we're even doing this is so uh, you, our customer, you, our partner, can uh, have a little bit more insight into uh, the commitment uh, that really we are making here uh, to, to fulfill our purpose. And our purpose is to equip you to do what you do best. And so thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.